In 2018, Mohammed Qasem saw the following dream. In this dream, I see that Nawaz Sharif has been disqualified and he is holding large gatherings all over the country and protesting with his famous slogan, Why have you disqualified me? He then says, This is injustice and this is not how you run a state or a country. I am being targeted according to a well thought out plan, but I am not going to give up. His daughter Maryam Nawaz is also with him and she also protests in a similar fashion. Many people make a mockery of the speeches of Nawaz Sharif and they laugh at him. They also oppose his stance and present a counter narrative against him, but Nawaz Sharif still doesn't back off. Then the political activities of Nawaz Sharif start getting limited and his speeches are not broadcasted either. Many people leave his political party and this creates even more problems and difficulties for him. Due to this, he gets a lot of mental stress and is unable to figure out how to get out of this difficult situation. Nawaz Sharif keeps losing powers, but he keeps protesting even more than ever. Then, he limits himself to his house and starts recording his protests from there and proclaims, Injustice is being done with me. No one can stop me and look, despite sitting in my house, I am still sending my message across to the whole world. They didn't do the right thing by limiting my activities. And his daughter stands with him through it all and completely supports his stance. Many people express their feelings against Nawaz Sharif and due to the mental stress his health also starts to deteriorate. I keep observing this entire situation and then I see Nawaz Sharif going towards his room. His daughter Maryam Nawaz is busy with sending messages on the internet. Then some ominous powers take advantage of this situation. Then I see some miscreants going towards Nawaz Sharif's house. I said to myself that there is definitely something wrong and I start running towards his house. When I reach there, I find some miscreants on one side of the house, so I use a different entrance to go inside. There is a big hall there and it leads to different paths. I am looking for the way that will lead me to Nawaz Sharif's room. Then I see some army commandos coming from one side and it feels like the army is also trying to help and protect Nawaz Sharif. When I see all this, I said to myself that if something happens to Nawaz Sharif, then the situation will get out of control. And that is why the army is here to protect him. The army commandos are also heading towards Nawaz Sharif's room. Then suddenly the news came out that Nawaz Sharif has died. And upon hearing this, I said to myself that perhaps the army has been late to arrive at the spot. After walking around, I arrive in a big room where Maryam Nawaz is present and she is crying and says that someone has killed my father. Upon seeing this, I expressed grief on the situation that whatever happened was very bad. Then I leave from there. I see some miscreants, but I manage to escape. But during this time, the news about the demise of Nawaz Sharif has spread all over the country and there was chaos everywhere. The enemies of Pakistan try to take advantage of the situation and spread unrest and anarchy everywhere. So much so that the situation gets out of control and even the army is not able to handle it. When the calamities befall Pakistan and the circumstances get worse, then the events unfold as I propagated through my dreams. When people witness that the events are happening as I have seen in my dreams and shared them. Then they start following my dreams even more and believe in them. And the dream ends there. This event will pave the way for the army to take power in the country. And later on, the Imam Mahdi will govern the country after being elected by the people. And this is why the unfortunate demise of Nawaz Sharif will pave the way for further chaos in Pakistan, followed by a military rulership followed by an Islamic presidential system with the leader of such system will be the Imam Mahdi himself, Muhammad Qasim. When he does indeed return, then he will befall the very same calamity that Muhammad Qasim narrates in his dream. Mark my words, this event will undoubtedly take place. And when it does, perhaps some of you will finally recognize the warnings of Allah and believe in Muhammad Qasim's dreams.